We've got another feature for you straight from our community-driven development track. We're expanding the power of our scripting variables through a new variable type we're calling drop-down variables. These work in largely the same way as runtime variables, with the exception that you can set predefined values for each. For instance, if you often find yourself scripting the restart of a few common services, you could consolidate this into one script with a runtime variable. Yet there you need to memorize the proper name of each service and ensure you don't accidentally fat finger an entry at the script's runtime. With drop-down variables, you assign all valid values ahead of time, eliminating that possibility altogether. You can also set which value is selected by default, or you can choose to have no value preselected if you wanted that instead. When you go to run the script, you'll see we have our drop-down variable with its default value selected and I can select from any other available value here as well. Just like with any of our script variable types, you can add as many as you like to any given script. The power and flexibility of this new functionality bring an all new flavor to scripting, making this one of our favorite community submissions to date. We can't wait to see what you all come up with next.